Um, one of the main arguments he was making was that people in the like, of course, people in the Middle East are going to believe in like Allah or Shiva. That and that by me just like living in this area, of course, we're going to be Christians. How I don't know how to I, like. How do you answer that? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, you were you were brought up in a Christian environment, and therefore you are Christian. Is that the idea? Um, and if you were brought up in Saudi Arabia, you would be a Muslim. Yeah. And Richard Dawkins says the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's ironic that Richard Dawkins says if you're brought up in a Christian nation, you'll probably be a Christian when he was brought up in an ostensibly a Christian nation and he's an atheist. Uh. Right? <laughs> that doesn't determine whether uh, any given religion is true. The question that we have to try and discover is what, where does the evidence point? Is Islam true? Is atheism true? Is Christianity true? Regardless of where you were brought up, I mean, in Saudi Arabia, if Christianity is true, it doesn't matter that everybody in Saudi Arabia is a Muslim, they're wrong. Of course, if Islam is true, it doesn't matter how many people in America are Christians, we're, we're wrong here. So the question is, what is the evidence? That's yeah. the real question. And, and the history of Christianity actually betrays that. Because let's think about it. In the first century, the only Christians are not in a Christian environment. And they changed the world by doing just the opposite. By becoming Christians in an environment that has no context for Christianity. And if that was true, why am I a Christian? I honestly had no exposure positive to Christianity at all. So I think that the history of Christianity is the power of the Holy Spirit to convert people in the most hostile of environments in spite of their cultural upbringing. And if that wasn't the case, there wouldn't be a Christian here tonight to ask that question.